Alright, so now we'll be looking at the master channel. Within this master channel, uh, there's one thing that you'll always want to do in every single project. Within audio effects, there is an effect called the limiter. Go ahead and drag it in. So typically, you do this before you start any project. But let's talk about why we use this limiter. So a limiter or a brick wall limiter essentially makes sure that your whole project will never go past the zero point because anything above zero is peaking and it will distort the audio. So my, this song Into Autumn is already set to be good for to be played at zero. So we'll just set it back to zero. However, if we play this plus another uh, sound, it might sound really loud. So what we're going to do is first listen to only the song with the limiter off. Alright, it's not, it's not too bad there. And we'll go to somewhere where it's louder. Okay, so it's starting to get pretty loud. But what would happen if we, let's say, had some singing in there? Alright, well we might need to make our voice a bit louder here. So let's just go ahead and do that, because we can't hear it at all. Yeah, so it's not, it's just starting to, you know, be a bit too much. Uh, we can't really raise our voice without you know, destroying the whole entire song. So there are several things that you'll have to do in order to you know, avoid this. Number one, limiter. Let's hear it now. You'll see that they'll both take the same uh, audio signal and they'll both put the same. Alright, so now we don't have to worry about everything you know, destroying the whole entire project completely. But another thing that you do have to do is if you can't hear one sound, don't try to make this louder. Try to make everything else quieter. In music production, we say that less is more. So whenever you're mixing, mix low, and then output with this gain high. Here, let's let's see what I'm talking about right here. So this song, I'm going to lower to maybe five minus five decibels voice now the voice should be you know a lot more audible you'll see that they'll both take the same uh, audio signal and they'll both put the same okay so now both are very audible but the sound might be a bit quiet compared to all your other songs on your playlist in order to avoid this we use a limiter and raise the gain here You'll see that they'll both take the same uh, audio signal and they'll both look the same. So, I know that some uh, producers and some mixers, masters will be screaming at me saying, No, that's, that's terrible. This, I know, is not the proper way of doing everything. Uh, some, some things I've shown here are good, some things are bad. However, this is for those people who don't really understand what mixing and mastering is and they just want to get in and get into a song and start recording. So that's what you have to keep in mind when you are <laughs> following my directions here. In that I'm trying to keep things simple and helping you get along with the process without being all bogged down with all these rules and uh, techniques. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more questions, let me know. I will be putting out more videos later. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing.